Thanks for purchasing your Kimbricky wicking bed. I'm going to show you the best way to get it up and running so that you can start your water wise garden as soon as possible. First up, check you've got all the right elements in your kit. Kimbricky wicking bed, raised garden frame, a water reservoir, eight water ups wicking cells, three X shaped plastic tab joiners to connect the wicking cells, water overflow pipe fitting, a 100 litre bag of perlite, geotech fabric, a water inlet pipe and a dipstick. You'll also need a few garden tools and a spirit level. To begin, level the ground where your bed will go, making sure it's totally flat so it can hold its maximum water capacity. It's a good idea to line the bottom with a piece of plastic or old carpet to protect the water reservoir from anything sharp below. Carefully unfold the water reservoir and click or push through the tabs on each corner. It can be a little tricky, but persevere, you'll get it. Then gently lower it down inside the frame. Align the water overflow pipe holes and push the shredded end of the pipe through. Thread the nut on the other side and gently tighten. Take the water inlet pipe, line up the three lug holes and insert into the wicking cell with the pre-cut hole and push down firmly. Place this wicking cell into the water reservoir at the opposite end to the water overflow pipe and then add in the remaining wicking cells. It's important to stand outside the frame to avoid treading on the water reservoir. Secure the cells in place by pushing down the X-shaped plastic tab joiners into the corner holes of the wicking cells. Now it's time to add your perlite. The granules tend to be very dusty, so to avoid inhaling the dust, we recommend pouring lots of water into the bag so it's soaked all the way through. Pour into the wicking cells, making sure the holes are filled and the perlite layer sits about two centimetres above. Lay the geotech fabric over the perlite, making sure to cut a hole for the inlet pipe. Your bed is nearly done, but still needs a mix for the plants to grow in. Next, prepare the soil layer. We recommend a high quality coconut fibre potting mix and Super 6 manure. This should be combined in a ratio of about four to one. Your bed will need about half a cubic metre of the potting soil mix, or about 16 bags worth. And be careful not to let any soil fall down into your wicking water zone. Then fill the water reservoir through the water inlet pipe. You'll know it's full when excess water comes out of the water overflow pipe. Once your bed is up and running, use the dipstick to monitor the water level, as it's important to not let the tank dry out. And to protect it from debris and mosquitoes, use an old mug to cap the pipe. You can add a seat to your wicking bed garden. You can paint the walls with whatever colour you like, whatever works for you. However you personalise your Kimbricky wicking bed, I hope it brings you many years of productive, easy, water-wise gardening. Happy gardening. <laughs>